On Tuesday, former President Donald Trump jumped into the cryptocurrency market, and immediately it was a disaster. World Liberty Financial, which builds itself as a crypto bank, where customers would be encouraged to borrow, lend, and invest in digital coins, as in coins that don't actually exist in the material world, began its token sale on Tuesday morning. With a total of $20 billion in digital tokens priced at 1.5 cents a piece were offered by the company, which was a total value of about $300 million. Now, these were the ones that were on sale. How much did they sell? Roughly about 3%. <laughs> okay, the first day. By Tuesday evening, they raised about $12 million, far below their goal of selling $300 million worth of these fake coins. Wow. Blockchain data tracked by Etherscan showed that about 9,050 unique wallet addresses hold the token as of Wednesday morning, representing roughly 9% of the total number of people who had registered to apparently trade the coin. So what happened? <laughs> well, well uh, apparently the website unsurprisingly crashed and burned multiple times. According to Reports Project website, the exclusive marketplace for the new Trump coin suffered regular lengthy outages, frequently showing a page saying, we are under maintenance. Big massive dumps. Mm, that's what happened to the website. It was just taking dumps. Dumps. <laughs> Big massive dumps. Uh, all right. Uh, now, but not only that, here's the thing. Um, the WLFI is a Regulation D token offering, okay? Um, what does that mean? <laughs> it basically means retail investors have been cut out of the process. Oh, all right. So why would they go that route <laughs> if they're not going to have the large retail investors uh, be able to be a part of this? Well, again, you would want that if you actually wanted to move a lot of these coins, but... <laughs> You see, it, to have a Regulation D token, right, means you don't have to register as a security with the SEC. So it's less regulated, therefore more risky, okay? It reduces legal exposure, but as a result, it cuts down on the size of the potential investor pool. So it's not exactly surprising to see that this coin really didn't sell a lot. OK, again, it's it's just more of like a, to me, short term money grab. OK, that's what that is from weird crypto bros. Uh, now, the World Liberty team has also been specific in calling WLFI a governance token. Hmm. What does that mean? It allows holders to vote in the decisions regarding the protocol, but would not signify equity in the venture itself. If all of this seems like, you know, Weirdo, like, I don't I don't quite understand. The only thing that you need to understand about this is that it's a scam, <laughs> okay? As of now, there's nothing for WLFI token holders to vote on since the crypto bank connected to the coin doesn't actually exist. I mean, it doesn't exist online and obviously it doesn't exist offline in the real world either. So it's just not there <laughs> at all at all. Uh, now, World Liber uh, Liberty has also not released an official white paper or formal business plan to the public. Hmm. Gee, that sounds like a fantastic investment. <laughs> now, it, there's more. It gets funnier. Coin holders are basically getting a sort of an IOU until the platform is approved and goes live. In the meantime, the investment of the coin goes to the platform's treasury, which no doubt goes to the Trump family because that's who's pushing this, right? So we got a Trump scam that's going to put money into Trump's pockets because, of course, that's the whole point. <laughs> WLF's website adds in the fine print that Trump and his family members may receive tokens from World Liberty Financial and that they are quote, entitled to receive significant fees for services provided to World Liberty Financial, which amount cannot yet be determined. Look, I, it, anybody who didn't see 
Donald Trump jumping into a crypto scam? Doesn't know Donald Trump. Okay, doesn't know the Trump family. All right. Uh, now, that said, we also all saw coming the fact that this crypto scam is failing to hit any of the targets due to their website issues and the fact that, again, this is a weird, unregulated crypto scam. So we all saw this coming. No shock, no surprise that it, the thing basically crashes and burns. Okay. It, it's a dump coin. It's what it is. <laughs> it's a dump coin. Uh, and, and the reason, of course, that we're all not surprised is because we know that there is absolutely no bottom to this Trump barrel. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.